All right, Wes, well, you've been playing some of the better golf uh, of the season here leading into the conference championships. Talk about your game and what's starting to come together for you. I know that you still want to go a little lower yourself personally, yeah. but uh, your thoughts just heading into it. Well, I mean, I'm glad to be getting into form at the right time because it does no good to play really good in January. But, uh, yeah, I just need to work, tighten up a few things, maybe roll in a few more putts and – Pretty good. You shot, you shot one off the school record last year. Your low round this year is a 70 coming off that in this last tournament where you finished in the top five for the second time here in the spring and your third top 10 finish. Where is your game at mentally uh, knowing what kinds of scores you've put up? Mentally, it's good. It's just sometimes it gets a little frustrating when I'm hitting the ball really good and putts aren't falling or can't hit the ball but then putts do fall so I just want to at conference I want to try to do both of those at the same time and it should be pretty good well you got this one last opportunity at least yeah if you guys can perform as a team then maybe some more afterwards but talk about the team and and the team's approach to this ASC championship team's approach I mean we're the underdog so there's no pressure on us we just go do it, play as good as we can and have fun and try to get a W. Now, Wes, you were sitting out the fall semester before you came back here as everybody was waiting through the COVID break. Now that you've gotten through a full spring season, how appreciative are you for the just the opportunity to be able to play golf here in this, this school year? Yeah, it was, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's a lot better than working on my uh, grandpa's farm. <laughs> Don't have to pick up horse. Um, I'm gonna do the word every day. <laughs> I'm out here having fun, playing golf, and getting a diploma. Last year, you guys performed well in Brownwood where you won the ASC Fall Preview Championship. You're going back to that course for the Spring Championship where all the marbles are at stake. Is there any sort of mental edge? I know there's a little bit of different dynamics with the team and the makeup of the team, but any sort of mental edge for Letourneau? And what do you like about that course in Brownwood? Yeah, I mean, I feel like mentally, yeah, we probably got an advantage because we won it last time. And I know me and Bryson, we didn't play, we didn't play good at all, but Dalton and everybody else played great. So me and Bryson know that we can improve a lot. And so if we improve a lot, we should go even lower. Your thoughts on um, just some of the new guys. You got Zach added to the mix this year, and he could be that linchpin in the sixth spot or wherever he may fall. But some of the newer guys that are stepping into the lineup because of some of the sub, you know, subtractions that you have and, and how they play into the chemistry of this year's team. Yeah, I mean, Zach's been playing good. He He's working on his game. He's getting a little bit better every every week, and he's put in some low scores, and it's helped us. You personally, though, Wes, you know that you've had, you know, one of the more consistent seasons on this team, and you're coming off the ASE Golfer of the Week award after your last regular season tournament. So, what's it going to take for you personally to be satisfied? Play good. I mean, if I play good and I don't win, can't be mad about it because I did my best. And I just want to give myself the best opportunity and the team the best opportunity to succeed. And when you say play good, what does that mean? What what would playing good boil up to, boil down to? Um, well, I'd have to wait till I get play a practice round and see how the course is playing, but under par would be great. As you kind of wrap up, you know, this season and you put fall to the end of spring in perspective, what sort of things stand out for you and this LETU men's golf team? Just a, well, in the fall, I wasn't really here. I was working and in the spring, it's just been a roller coaster. I mean, started out 
our first tournament got postponed because of the snow. Then we had to play one of the hardest courses on the PGA Tour with no practice because of the snow. And we've just been slowly gearing up for this moment. Now you're at this moment, so your final thoughts heading into Brownwood. team performs like we know we can and if we do we should come out on top all right well good luck in brownwood wes thank you